I expect that some of you are struggling with the recursion pair programming activity from a conceptual perspective. And so what I've done in the past, what I'm going to try to do here with my helper Max is to act this out um, in a more physical way that you can then translate into code. So I'm going to give Max these instructions that says make a list with five numbers. And Max is going to make a list with five numbers. Um, but Max is a pretty lazy cat, and so he's simply going to take one small step towards a solution and rely on someone else, basically pass these instructions along um, to someone else to, to do that. And so this is a little bit tricky, I think, because the order of things is different than before. So Max, if you're going to make a list with five numbers and then rely on someone else to do most of the work and you're going to take one small step, what are you going to pass along to someone else, namely me? All right, so I'm going to write for Max. Max is going to pass along an instructions that says, make a list with four numbers. And Max doesn't particularly care how that gets done. He's just going to pass that list along to someone else. All right, so I'm, that list goes away. And when it comes back, and again, he doesn't care. Oh, he's checking out the list. Here's the list. It's back. So when the list is back, the list is one, two, three, four. All right, Max. So now you need to take one step to one small step towards the solution. So Max, now that you have this list with the four numbers, what are you going to do next? All right, Max is going to add one more number to the list, five. That's the small step that Max took towards the solution. The only difference here compared to some of the things we've done before is that Max asked someone else to solve a smaller problem first and then added his small contribution to the end of the list. Thank you, Max.